no, help each other out tapos improve our development skills in general. Okay, welcome to the last part ng Git tutorial series natin. We will talk about GitHub tsaka yung mga remote repositories. First off, uh, let's talk about GitHub. Ganyan lang siya. No, github.com Kung wala pa kayong account, sign up Kung meron na, sign in lang Re- Really simple, I bet you know how to do that na So ako, meron akong account And ganito ito yung dashboard ko Kita ko yung mga activities ng mga people I follow Stuff like that Okay? Yung GitHub Nagsaserve siya as Parang Google Drive Ng mga Git repository So kunyari may kaibigan ako sa ibang bansa Ibang probinsya Basta may connection sila to GitHub, we can work almost ano, seamlessly. We can collaborate on code easier, okay? Through GitHub. So kanina, no, sa classical method natin na ganyan, yung copy-copy-paste na folder, kung nag-upload tayo sa Google Drive, uh, kung may bagong version tayo, tas 2 gig siya, upload na naman natin yung 2 gig na yun, no? So medyo nakakainis. Yun nga with Git, we're saving space and yung GitHub, na utilize niya yung feature ng git na yon kaya it's easier to uh, upload and download code okay and marami din siya features regarding security uh, yung spirit na open source no stuff like that okay so usually yung first encounter ng tao sa github is sinesendan sila ng link sa code nila tapos hindi na nila alam gagawin nila dun no so uh, kunya na to buksan ko yung link dun sa a Filipino's Guide to Programming yung repository for that. Bale, a lot of people gagawin nila is kiklik nila to tapos download yung zip. Pero kung gusto mo magkakopya ng repository mismo, ng git repository mismo, it's really easy na magigit clone ka na lang. Okay? So, copy ko yan. Buksan ko yung git bash ko ulit. Yung command dun is git clone and then yung URL. Be careful of pasting pala. Kasi kapag nagko-control V ka, may parang hidden character na sinisingit dito and hindi nagre-register na maayos. So, nangyayari, parang git clone ganyan tapos may sasabihin na HTTPS protocol not supported or something. Ibig sabihin nun, yung control V mo may na-capture na character na nakatago. Okay? So, kung kayang right-click paste or shift insert sa git bash, alam ko yun yung default. Yun yung gamitin natin. Okay? So, enter. So, papansin niyo may folder na ako dito. Dina-download na niya yung code. Okay, yan. So, kapag public yung repository, you could download anything you want. So, pero kapag private, kailangan makalagin ka muna to GitHub. So, ayan. Na-clone natin. Tapos kasama yung .git kasi git repository nga siya. And then, ayan yung folders. No? So, pakita natin yan dyan. LS, ganyan. Okay? Kita nyo may master branch pa. So, dito isang branch lang siya. No? Hindi naman ako gumawa ng ibang branches dyan kasi I don't think it's necessary. Pero ganyan, that's how you fetch a repository from GitHub. So, paano tayo nyan mag-communicate with GitHub other than copying the repositories from there? So, gawa tayong bagong repository sa GitHub mismo. Okay? So, ito, itong plus button. Tapos, new repository. Repository name, usually kung ano yung folder name para hindi nakakalito. So, in this case, yung folder name ko yung Git Tutorial. Description natin, optional lang yan public private okay kahit wala kayong i-check sa mga ganyan so create tapos yan again i do recommend going to learngitbranching.js.org and practice here alam ko may remote section din sila over here okay so mahirap sa system ko naka-set up na kasi yung credentials okay so kapag nagpo-push ako hindi na hinihingi yung password sa akin kasi malamang nakaprotekto. Hindi naman anyone makakapag-push dito sa Licorice Git Tutorial. Kasi kung ginawa natin yun, hindi makalat yung buong GitHub. So kapag minamanipulate mo yung remote mo through here, uh, minsan hinihingan ka ng password, ako hindi na kasi nakasetup na I could do that tutorial on a later date. Okay? Pero right now, uh, let's go back to the discussion. So punta tayo kay Git Tutorial folder kanina. Yung may manok. No. Check out tayo kay Master. Paano natin to i-push online? Okay, paano natin i-upload to? 
tawag kasi natin dito remote. No? Just like yung word na remote learning, it's from a distance siya. Okay, off-site siya. No? Yun yung meaning ng remote. Yung folder natin dito, tawag natin dito local. Okay, so local to, and then remote to. So set up natin yung remote dito. Okay, so git remote. No, tas mag a tayo ng remote. And then anong pangalan ng remote na yun? Again, standards na naman to. You could name your remote anything you want. Pero yung main na remote, almost always, kahit saan ka pumunta, yung pangalan na remote nila is origin. Okay? Pangalan yan. No, you could do re- git remote add Carlos. No, you could do that. Pero git remote add origin, yun yung name ng main na remote mo almost anywhere you look. Origin lagi. Okay? So, git remote add origin, tapos yung link papunta sa origin mo. So, paste natin yan. Na-setup na yung origin natin, na-setup na yung remote natin, magpupush tayo ngayon. So, git push origin. Tapos, kung anong branch. So, branch ko is master. Okay, yan. Sabihin niya, okay, tapos na. May bagong branch, master to master. No? So, nirefresh ko siya. And ayan, andyan na yung files natin online. So, what if nag-change tayo? So, actually, from the browser, pwede tayo magpalit ng isang file. Ano ko na itong index.html, pinalit na natin yan. Lagyan natin ng my message from GitHub. No? Tapos, commit tayo dito. Sige, okay na yan. Update index.html. So, kung titignan natin ngayon, outdated na yung local natin. Yung remote, may bago siyang commit. Yung local, wala pa yung commit na yun. So, kung titignan natin, kung titignan natin yung code, wala rin yung my message from GitHub. So, paano natin kukunin yun? So, madali lang yun. Git pull origin master. Push kasi, binibigay natin kay remote. Yung pull, naghihingi tayo kay remote. Okay? So, git pull. No? And then, eto, pumasok na yung my message from GitHub. So, ganun yung workflow kung isa kayong team push-push tsaka pull-pull lang kayo ng code. Ganun lang kasimple. Again, there are times na kanya nag-work ka and then nag-pull ka. Tapos, hindi pala tugma yung dalawang repositories ninyo. May conflict yan. So, you have to resolve na naman. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung very, very simple involvement ng GitHub sa storing ng remote repositories. May mga ibang websites pa na gumagawa niyan. GitLab, no? And you could even set up your own Git server sa bahay ninyo and doon kayo mag-push. Pwede yun. Actually, some companies do that na may sarili silang server kesa sa nagpo-push sila dito publicly. Okay? Para mas secure, mas private. That's, ano, that's very possible. So, tips lang. Kahit yung mga very small project ninyo, anything you do, i-push ninyo sa GitHub account ninyo. Kasi most employers, tinitignan nila yung GitHub. No. So don't be ano, don't be ashamed. Kahit na maliit lang yung project ninyo na para hello world lang, no. Okay lang 'yun. Hindi ka naman i-judge, no. Kasi it shows more enthusiasm, it shows more ambition eh. Kapag mas marami kang naka sa GitHub mo. And then later on as you grow as a programmer, as a developer, then may mga malalaking projects ka na sa GitHub mo. You could wear those like medals kapag nag-apply ka sa trabaho, okay? Another thing na pinepresent ng GitHub to all of us is open source. So for example, yung Linux open source siya, no? So punta natin yung Linux dito. Ayan, you could see there are 10,000 contributors, no? Hindi naman sila active na nag-maintain itong 10,000 na to sa repository neto. Pero pwede ka kasing gumawa ng request na palitan yung code na gumawa ka ng isa pang commit no? na kunyari may typo gawa ka ng commit na palitan yung typo and then lagay mo yung request dito no? and then yung mga maintainers bahala silang i-accept yan and then ikaw considered na contributor ka na to that repository no? help each other out tapos improve our development skills in general okay? in the same way Uh, other people can contribute to your code, no, to your open source code then. And then ikaw bahala kang mag-accept or mag-deny. So kunya tingnan natin yung iba dito, no. Kunya 'yan. Okay? Um, may 
wants to merge one commit tapos ito yung reason niya tapos may discussion you know, stuff like that so yun I hope you have fun and if you have any questions and concerns leave them in the comment section below or join our discord server link in the description below if you enjoyed the series if you liked the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe thanks and see you next time